An object of mass 50 kilograms moves in a straight horizontal line under the action of constant horizontal force of magnitude 1,600 newtons acting along the line. The resistance to motion of the object is proportional to the time t seconds. At time t seconds, the velocity of the object is v meters a second, and at time t, it is moving with velocity 41 meters a second, with an acceleration of minus 4 meters a second squared. So, first of all, we want to show that v satisfies the differential equation dv by dt equals 32 minus 18 t. So let's have a quick look at a diagram. I'll just do sketch. Here's my particle. It has a constant force acting in the direction of motion. That is 1600 newtons. Have a mass of 50 kilograms. There is then resistance acting backwards. And I'm just going to leave that as R at the moment. Uh, it says that R is proportional to time. So the resistance is proportional to the time. And actually that leads us to the equation that the resistance can be written in some sort of form, R equals kT. Now, it wants us to show this differential equation. Well, let's resolve horizontally in the direction of motion and acceleration. So we have 1600 minus the resistance, which is kT, is equal to mass, which is 50, times the acceleration. And actually, if I divide both sides by 50, what we get is that we have 32 minus k over 50 t equals a. Now in a question I'm told that t equals 2 and a equals 4. So I can use this now to find my constant. So a equals minus 4. Apologies, a little bit of confusion there. So what we get is 32 minus k over 50 t uh, times t, which is 2, equals minus 4. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 4 to both sides, and I'm going to add the 2k over 50 to both sides. So what we get on the left-hand side, well, let's keep actually... So I get 2k over 50, which cancels to k over 25. This is equal to 32 plus uh, 4, which is 36. Now if I times everything by 25, what happens is we get k equals 36 times 25 will be 900. Now when I substitute this into my equation, I get A equals 32 minus 900 over 50 T, which can be cancelled so that A equals 32 minus 18 T. And of course, what we know from the calculus using involving rectilinear motion is that A is equivalent to dV by dt. So dV by dt is in fact equal to 32 minus 18t. And hence we've shown that V satisfies the differential equation given in the question. OK, how are the marks awarded in this question? Well, you get a B1 Standalone mark if you identify that this resistance can be modelled as some constant times time since it's proportional. We get a method mark for resolving horizontally to get this initial equation. Then further along down the line we get a method mark for using the values t equals 2 and a equals minus 4 to substitute in. And then finally if we pull this all together and work through and give a convincing argument 
to get to this point. So showing the working and the stages of working, how we find k, etc. Then you get your answer mark for getting this equation at the end. Let's look at part B. Part B says find an expression in terms of t uh, for v in terms of t and determine the times when the velocity of the object is 28 meters a second. What I know is that v is going to be the integral of 32 minus 18 t dt. So, I mean, if we treat it set properly using the differential equation, we get a case of separating the variables. The result is exactly the same. So integrating, what we get is that v equals 32t minus t squared, 18 divided by 2 gives me 9 plus some constant c. The information in the question told us that when t equals 2, the velocity was 41. So we can use this now in order to find our constant. So I get 41 is equal to 32 times 2 minus 9 lots of 2 squared plus our constant. So 64 minus 36 will give us 28. So let's subtract that 28 from both sides. And what we get left with is that c equals 13. And so my equation is v equals 32t plus 9. Oops, sorry, not my plus 9. Minus 9t squared plus 13. Finally, the last part I want to do is I want to determine the times when the velocity of the object is 28 meters a second. So just stating that v equals 28, we get that 28 will be equal to 32t minus 9t squared plus 13. So rearranging the equation, subtracting 32t from both sides, adding a 9t squared to both sides, and subtracting the 13 from both sides so that we get a quadratic and I get 9t squared minus 32t plus 15 equals 0. Okay, this expression can be factorised to give us 9t minus 5 multiplied by t minus 3 equal to 0. So the times when the velocity is equal to 28 meters a second is 5 divided by 9 and 3 seconds. And it's best to give these as exact answers. How are the marks awarded in this question? Well, initially we get a method mark for stating that we're going to integrate to find v in some sort of way. We get an accuracy mark for the correct integration with a constant of integration. We get a method mark for using t equals 2 and v equals 1, and an answer mark for getting to the point where we know that the constant equals 13, and I've got this equation for v. Finally, I get a method mark for substituting v equals 28 into our equation, and then our answer mark is for a complete and correct answer only that t equals five ninths of a second or three seconds. I hope that all made sense and that you understood the solution to that question.